Bet. As two promotion chasers go head to head in the Sky Bet Championship. It's Bristol City versus Charlton Athletic. And after last night's results, when several of the top teams dropped points, Charlton could go as high as second in a win here. Well, Bristol City will be as high as fourth or maybe even third if they can pick up a home win. So, all to play for. Bristol City longing for a positive response after disappointing 3-0 defeat to Luton Town on Saturday. Luton were hovering just above the relegation zone before that win. City on an 11 game on big run. League. Charlton, meanwhile, ended a run of five games without a win by beating Derby County 3 0 at the weekend. They're going very nicely after promotion to League One by the playoffs. From the Lee Bowyer, they won half their league games back in the Championship. Fans are wondering could this be the year they finally return to the Premier League after their relegation from the top flight in 2007. It's a long way to go, but it has been a very positive start so far. They've lost just one of their last six away league games, by the way. Now, both managers make four changes from the weekend. For Bristol City, Jack Hunt is injured, so Pedro Pereira replaces him, while the ADU, Palmer and Baker drop to the bench after that defeat to Luton. In come Nicholas Eliasson, Callum down there, and Antoine Semenyo up front. So it does look like 4-4-2 for Bristol City. Daniel Bentley in goal, Pedro Pereira, Taylor Moore, Ashley Williams and Tommy Rowe. Nicholas Eliasson, Josh Brownfield, Pandoa, Masenko and Callum Dowder and up front Andreas Feynman who scored in two of the last four and Antoine Semenyu who has yet to score for the club. For Charlton, Lee Bowyer hands a full debut to Israeli midfielder Beren Kayal who's on loan from Brighton of course. Three calls in defence for Deji Osilaja and captain Jason Pierce. Sam Field returns in place of Johnny Williams, Saar, Prattley and Solly drop to the Annex bench. So 3-5-1-1 for Lee Bowyer's side. Dylan Phillips in goal. The back three is Tom Lockyer, Jason Pierce, and Deji Oshilaja. In the five in midfield, Jonathan Lecco, Sam Field, Theron Kayal, Connor Gallagher, who scored in each of the last two, and Jake Forster Kasky, with Josh Cullen on loan from West Ham playing off Macaulay Bond, who netted in the win over Derby at the weekend. We're good to go here. At Ashton Gate, remember there are four other games being played in the championship tonight. They're all available to view live, but here we're focusing on what promises to be a cracking contest between two sides who on paper look pretty evenly matched, separated by just a point in the table, having both scored 18 goals from their 12 league games so far. Only five teams in the championship have scored more and some of them have played a game more so let's hope we get plenty of entertainment here at uh, Ashton Gate Bristol City of course in their red strips white shorts and red socks attacking the goal away to our left hand side in this first half the first free kick goes Charlton's way and Dylan Phillips will take that for the South East Londoners. It's Lee v Lee tonight, of course. Johnson versus Boya. Three big points up for grabs given the current state of the championship table. Several teams, including the uh, top two, dropped points last night. So one of these sides is hoping to take advantage. Pass by Tommy Rowe. Bit of a strong back pass to Bentley. Bit of an untidy start, really. Charlton with the throw. 
side as the ball was played forward there by Cullen. Chance for Bentley, of course, signed from Brentford. And he's ever present so far to take the kick downfield. This is his 299th appearance in English football. We hope to get to 300 and Bristol City are at home again on Sunday against Wigan Athletic. Should be a good game as well. The defending there for Lockyer to do. And a bit of a hoof from Phillips. What an untidy start to the game this has been from both sides. It's scarcely possible to envisage a more scrappy open couple of minutes. O'Dowd there. Lifted forward by Taylor Moore. And here's Sam Fields, who is fouled by Semenyo. It's always bright and busy and enterprising. Still desperate to get that first goal in the red of Bristol City, though. Little flick on there by Bond. Shoveled away by Moore. Picked up here by Forster Kasky, who survives those handball appeals. This is Bon again. Forster Kasky once more, trying to slide that through. Ashley Williams in the way. Big diagonal from the veteran Welshman, looking for Vyman. Beaten in the air pretty comprehensively by Oshilaja. As we thought, playing with three at the back. And uh, Cullen off Bon. Different shape this time by the looks of things for Bristol City. Gallagher. Cullen. out wide by Kayal, in the way is Masengo. Put it up to Semenya, linking up for the first time with Weidman, that's a good ball by the Austrian. Eliasson. It's away by Field, helping out defensively, headed wide by Rowe. Masengo. Brownhill. a little bit casual it's been one back by Charlton that ball's looking for Lecco getting to it first though is Ashley Williams who read that danger a little uh, slip as he cleared his line so it'll be a Charlton ball Waiting for the game to settle down. This is Oshilaja. Taken on by Lecco. He's found Gallagher. Gallagher 
again, who is uh, on loan from Chelsea and he's really caught the eye so far this season with five goals. Wide by Cullen, in by Forsker, Kasky, and this is Gallagher with the header back across goal. No one able to get a telling touch. Good noise around Ashton Gate. Both sets of fans are acutely aware of just how important these points are. Such a tightly compressed top half of the table, you really can climb sometimes five or six places with a win. Masengo back to Pereira. Held off the challenge of Gallagher there, and he's got it up to Semenya. Brownhill, Rowe, Odada, Row again, back to Callum Odada. Irishman sees his path to goal blocked by Oshilaja. First corner of the match goes the way of Bristol City. And it gets a little flick as well, loose for a moment after Vyman got his head to the ball. That near post flick so often causes absolute panic. Odowder's ball in. Too shallow. Away by Bond, who's found Cullen. Charlton with the possibility of a break here. Kyle stopped by Pereira. Cullen. Oshilaja whips that one into the near post, headed away. Fairly comfortably in the end. And a free kick to Bristol City. Charlton away again, uh, by the way. It's Saturday, tough game coming for them. The leaders, West Brom, the Hawthorns. Not what the Bowyer would feel would be a good haul from these two games, two tough away games. Nicely pinched by Field, and he goes over the top, looking for the run of Lecco. Nice bit of work from Lecco, tried the shot, ricochets back to Oshilaja. Field. Both sides looking to try and seize the initiative here. Kyle. Oh, the first bit was great. The ball through to Gallagher, not so much. Gallagher, who has scored in the last two, actually, against Fulham and Derby. Chelsea's Academy Player of the Year last season he signed a three-year deal in August and then moved on loan to Charlton I'm sure he'll be looking on with interest at how many young players are getting a chance at Chelsea he'll be very keen to make a good impression here this season he certainly started very impressively forward by Forster Kasky throw to be taken by Pedro Pereira, the Portuguese fullback on loan from Benfica. Cheap free kick 
given away there by uh, Nicholas Eliasson. be able to see is from the gantry here at Ashton Gate Lee Boya is sitting right alongside us so he's watching the first half from the television gantry with an earpiece to keep in touch with those in the dugout you do get a very good view from up here he's not the only coach who wants to view the action from on high one back by Charlton here's Leco. Bon. Oh, they didn't make the most of that. Charlton. Fields. Lockyer. Oshilaja. Masengo for Bristol City. And that's a really excellent through ball. And that challenge will produce a yellow card for Berem Kayal. Eliasson taken out of the game in no nonsense fashion. An easy decision for the referee. Eliasson was away, tried to cut inside, and Kayal was committed. Promising position here for Bristol City. Lyerson, having won it, has taken a great interest in it. Josh Brownhill there as well. to be to Larson they did the first bit of getting the ball up very well in terms of getting it back down again distinctly less so miles over and I think having won that free kick he uh, Felt he had every right to take it. Perhaps he won't be taking the next one. Yet to score this season as well, the Swede, having netted three times last season. Throw one by Andreas Weiman. To be taken here by Pereira. Out by Kayal. No real tempo to the game with 15 minutes gone. Either side really in control. And they didn't keep that in play, Pereira. Close run thing, the referee's assistant on that far side had a much better view than us. <laughs> Kyle, away by Ashley Williams. Rowe. No doubt there. Now joining in the attack is Moore. Rowe again. Moore on the overlap. He's teased a lovely ball in there towards Semenyo. 
Lysenko. Well, that's the best bit of football we've seen so far from Bristol City. All coming about because Taylor Moore decided to come forward from centre-back and supplement the attack. Hanawa Masengo, the 18-year-old Frenchman who started 11 of the last 12 now. Still looking for his first goal in the red of Bristol City, but he's really caught the eye this season, the former Monaco teenager. Senga who takes the free kick back to Williams. Row to Moore. And the Senga. Jim Williams decides to go all the way back to Daniel Bentley. As Charlton sends the opportunity of a high press. it out wide again so much is going through him fields he and Jonathan Lecco both on loan from West Bromwich Albion two really good young players followed by Pierce the captain lovely touch by Kayal Senga will cut that out Williams, well, tried the back pass, he's under pressure from Gallagher, and it's a cheap corner conceded by the Welshman. Josh Cullen with Charlton's first corner. Oh, it's in towards Pierce. They're appealing for handball there. And the referee would have had a very good view of that. Bowled out to Masengo. Vyman. That's looking for Eliasson popping up on the left-hand side. Enough Charlton defenders got back to deal with his cross. Here's Pereira. It's worked out okay. Elias in. Odauda. Brownhill urge to shoot. The direction, not the power. Two minutes gone, and uh, nothing to choose between the sides, really. More than ever, the first goal in this game will be absolutely critical. Field. Sides again conceding possession pretty cheaply. Field. Pierce. Tom Lockyer. Lockyer, who uh, may get a bit of stick from the home fans for his six years at. 
Bristol Rovers. This is his 250th appearance in English football today, Lockyer. Vyman out to Pereira. Well, not sure what he was planning there. Ended up being a comfortable pass back to Dylan Phillips. Phillips, who has uh, four clean sheets in eight in the last eight. Ever present in the league this season for the Addicts. Williams. Position spawned it again. This is Cullen finding Oshilaja. By Cullen. Didn't get enough on that one. Lockyer. Fields. Pierce down the line by Forster. Kasky looking for Gallagher up against Masengo. He's done well there. Laid off by Macaulay Bourne. Attacking that is Leko. And he went in with more. Managed to scramble it away. Good bit of defending that from Taylor Moore. Another throw to Charlton. Past the midway point of the first half. Swept away by Williams. That was not the sort of throw in they were looking for. Ashilaja. All the way back by Lockyer. It's launched by Phillips. Will it reach Bond? He's just barged Tommy Rowe. Just for a moment, looked like Macaulay Bond might be able to profit from that big up and under from the goalkeeper. And you can hear the moans and groans as Bristol City give it away again. That has been. A recurrent theme. Fields. Shilaja. The ball inside to Cullen. Joining in now is Pierce. Got it up to Lecco. Lecco taking on uh, Nicholas Eliasson, who's helping out defensively. It is a throw to Charlton. Certainly playing like a side who had a really good win at the weekend. Charlton. Putting Philip Koku's Derby County to the sword on Saturday, just when they might have thought results were getting away from them a little bit. Five games without a win. Forward by Gallagher. Cullen. Gallagher. Challenged by Masengo. There's no foul there. The 18-year-old has played an intelligent ball down the left-hand side. Vyman keeps it alive and goes back to O'Dowder. Rowe finding Brownhill. Now Williams. Back from Pereira. Just got to move the ball a bit quicker here, Bristol City. Every time they get it, they're a little slow, and it allows Charlton to get back into their defensive shape. Eliasson onside. That's a lovely ball in. It's loose. Vyman has a go. It's well blocked. Played back in by Pereira. And this time, Vyman on the near post with a complete miscue. Much better, though, from Bristol City. Well, he knows 
but that was a really good chance. The ball was whipped in. He got in between the two central defenders. It was missed on the near post by Pierce, and Ryman would certainly have backed himself to get that on target at least. Let go. And down goes Forster Kaski. Green kick is given for that challenge by Eliasson. A cheap free kick that was to concede. Stokaski just waited for the contact and it duly came and he went to ground and the referee felt he had no option. In by Cullen, Kyle, and something off the training ground, I doubt it. It's a stop to that. No one upfield in red. Here's Phillips. No pressure on him at all. Mal to play that up. Williams heads away. Forward by Odalda. Straight to Pierce. They've really lost their way here, Bristol City. Good possession wouldn't go amiss. Tommy Rowe. Row again, he's got it into Semenyo. Now he's gone to ground, and that's a free kick to Bristol City. The challenge is made by Sam Field here, and he has definitely come off worse. Clutching his knee. a good sign he's got an ice pack on that uh, left knee clumsy challenge more than anything Let's hope this is not something which forces Sam Field off the pitch. Semenyo just seemed to hold up as he tried to control the ball, whereas Field was committed to making the challenge. He's going to have to go off here. How sad. There's a, a nothing challenge, really. How often are those innocuous ones ones that caused the problem stretcher needed as well half an hour gone and uh, Charlton are forced into making a change here and that could be the problem that sees Sam Field out of action for a little while Just waiting for the stretcher bearers to uh, make their way onto the field. They are parked just off the uh, near touchline. Some frantic conversations going on between Lee Bowyer and his assistant as to the change that they will make. So Field put onto the stretcher. Sure, that's uh, largely precautionary. 
let's hope that that is not a serious knee injury. Might just be medial ligaments. been accidentally kicked after making the initial challenge by Semenyo. Anyway, he's off. So Darren Prattley comes on in his place, started at the weekend. Former Bolton man. Brown Hill, out to Eliasson, waste no time, whipping it in, keeper gets a good punch on that, Phillips. Brown Hill. And the home side get a corner. Second corner for Bristol City to be taken by Josh Brownhill in swinger. He'll retrieve this as well. Odauda not able to wrap his foot round it. Goal kick. there of Lee Boya looking on from this uh, lofty vantage point he's also seeing another of his players on the deck and they're going to have to make another substitution well this is uh, dreadful fortune for Charlton losing two players in the space of a couple of minutes. That is really, really tough to take for him. We saw this in the game. Sheffield Wednesday. Last night. Stoke City had to make two changes due to injury in the first half and it really limits what a manager is able to do later on in terms of tactical changes. So Jake Forster Kasky is coming off here. Ten minutes to half time, and there's going to be a big old chunk of stoppage time as well. Because of these uh, stoppages. So Chris Solly, the obvious uh, replacement, started at right wing back at the weekend.
forward by Masengo. That will run harmlessly through to Phillips. And those two pretty lengthy stoppages have rather disrupted the flow of the game. Charlton looking to make tracks down there, left-hand side. McCauley Bond going over, but there's no foul. There will be a throw, though, to the Addicts. Phillips. Charlton, of course, going to have to just uh, adjust to the fact they've brought on two defenders through injury. So a little bit of rejigging for the Addicts. Oshilaja on this right hand side. Played it back to Lokia. Oh, one out of play. Rowe with the throw as the rain comes down here in Bristol. Moore with the ball out to Pereira. First contribution for Prattley, got it inside to Cullen. Oshilaja. Prattley. Oshilaja's got it forward to McCauley. Bon onside. Williams in the way. He was looking for Lecco. Have a good position there. Obviously, Williams, Charlton have their second corner of the game. Josh Cullen takes. He absolutely threw himself at that pierce. Kyle retrieves. Back to Solly. Now Oshilaja. Leco holding off young Masengo, getting inside to Cullen. Really wouldn't like to call this one at all. Both sides have had their moments. Neither goalkeeper has had any uh, difficult save to make. Cullen out wide. Solly. Laid off by Kyle, he's got it back again here. And as I said earlier, I think there will be quite a hefty chunk of uh, stoppage time. So there's quite a long way to go still in this half. Brownhill, Pereira. Feynman. off 
by Rowe, Odauda. Worth a shot for Brownhill, well blocked. Pereira keeps it alive. Eliasson. It's a good header out. And a shot by Odauda, well blocked again. Here goes Prattley. Lecco's made a good run ahead of him here. Moore is a defender, and that will go harmlessly out of play. Decision goes the way of the home side. Pierce. Yeah. Free kicks given. Not for the second challenge, but for the first one. Referee tried to play an advantage, I think. The second one was certainly soft. But it wouldn't be a surprise at all if it was a set piece that ends up unlocking this game. Played in by Cullen. Semenyo trying to break. Gallagher keeps it alive for Charlton. Oshilaja. He's played that straight to Moore. He's allowed to advance. Eliasson on the far side. Pereira making a run ahead of him. Here is the Portuguese fullback. And he hits it against Jason Pierce, and that will be a corner. Too much to shout about the home fans so far. That might change here. Last minute of normal time in the first half. Third corner for Bristol City. Oh, well attacked by Pereira. The referee spotted a, another Charlton player down here. It's Jason Pierce, this time the captain. serious problem he just got a bit of a clattering there from Ashley Williams but he's back on his feet so five minutes of stoppage time as the rain comes down very steadily now. It's one of those games where you would dearly love just to nick a 1 0 and move on to the weekend. Forward by Rowe, to no great effect, cleared by Cullen. Breaks kindly for Semenyo. Wrong option, fans uh, making that very clear to him. It's a tame effort from Antoine Semenyo. So desperate to make a positive impression. He's only 19, of course. And He's had loan spells not too far from here, Bath City and Newport. Now playing at championship level. And looking for that first goal at this level. Desperate to get it.
Semenya's header. Rowe. Vyman. Eliasson to retrieve. Faced by Solly. That is a very clumsy challenge indeed by Berem Kayal, which will give Bristol City a free kick. And of course, he's already been booked, so he'd be well advised not to complain too much. Coming up to three minutes of stoppage time played at the end of this first half. Eliasson with the ball in. Williams attacked it. Comes off a Charlton head last, so it'll be a corner. Pretty decent pressure here from Bristol City as the first half draws to a close. Josh Brownhill to take this latest corner. Charlton uh, got it away fairly comfortably. And they can't keep it alive, Bristol City. The ball has played out to Moore. No chance of keeping that in. Well, it certainly hasn't been a classic first half. Sides have, uh, as they say, cancelled each other out a little bit here. Set before the game, this is a, looks like a very evenly matched contest, and so it's proved. Charlton's rhythm certainly has been disrupted by losing two players to injury. No doubt about the clearest chance of the game. That was the header for Weiman, which he put well wide. Very well placed. I think the, the crossing was from Pereira. In a match like this, where it's so tense and so tight, those chances have to be taken. Semenyo has kept it in and found Vyman. Back to Semenyo. Not able to get the shot away. Again, they haven't linked up too many times, those two, but when they have, they've looked very threatening. O'Dowder, Pereira. Another decent cross in from that right hand side. And there is the five minutes of stoppage time up, and it's all square. At half-time, chances very much at a premium here at a rain-soaked Ashton Gate. Lee Bowyer's got plenty to ponder because he's already lost Sam Field and Jake Forster-Kasky to injury. He's had to make two enforced changes, so his options will be very limited in the second half. As for Lee Johnson, well, his side have had their moments, but they haven't managed to create any sustained pressure. And so, at the break, real stalemate here. Half-time, Bristol City nil, Charlton Athletic nil. The whole of the second half coming up soon.
There's so much to play for, the stakes are high. Who can get their noses in front here? It will be Charlton in the predominantly black strip. To get us underway, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side in the second half. Remember, they've already had to make two changes due to injury in that first period. Jake Forster, Kasky and Sam Field both off. Darren Prattley and Chris Solly replacing them. Straight away, Bon looking to make something of that ball forward. Still McCauley Bon. Solly with the ball in. Oh, a clash of heads. Prattley uh, certainly didn't come off too badly. Just went down for a moment, then got up again. Tommy Rowe is the Bristol City player. Certainly the first half punctuated by stoppages. Very difficult to get any flow or rhythm in the game. Cleared by Bentley up towards Semenyo. No foul there, despite the appeals, headed forward by Williams. And again. Eliasson. Brownhill. Didn't get the angle right there. Ashi Larger away. Chance here for Charlton to break. Bon. Didn't squeeze it through. Prattley have made a good run to his right. There by Misengo. Williams. Pereira. Brownhill. Eliasson is the runner, but it's all the appears to just usher that behind. Too many times that final ball has been lacking in quality. Still very much up on the gantry with us. Apologies if you heard any language you shouldn't have done there. Bristol City fans will be acutely aware that uh, it was nil-nil until the 56th minute at the weekend. Up losing 3 0, only the second time this season they failed to score. That match at uh, Luton. <laughs> Haven't been free scoring, but uh, generally speaking, they do find the net more often than not. But uh, they've really looked like troubling Dylan Phillips in this match. Long way to go. With the throw. Semenyo. Decision's gone against him. Ben Schreiker still learning the game, and uh, that is where Bristol City desperately need him to get the ball and for it to stick. He just handled it in fairness to him. Kyle for Charlton. Lecco. Certainly made full use of the uh, loan system of Lee Bowie. He's got some quality players in. Masengo. 
has fouled Gallagher. Charlton now attacking the goal behind which their supporters are housed. They're making all the noise. This is a good angle for Cullen. Josh Cullen swings it in, it's a beautiful delivery, the goalkeeper didn't get there. Odauder trying to get it away, straight against Kyle. Oh, he's got out of trouble, thinks he was fouled. Well, he had no right to emerge with the ball from there, Charlton certainly felt they should have had a free kick. Williams heads away. Semenyo, excellent ball from the youngster to find Vyman. Pereira, again, appealing to the referee, nothing given. Just signs that the game is coming to life here, Leko. Leko has played a good ball there for Bon. Waiting for the support to arrive, Bon! He's left holding his face, Macaulay Bond, because he was allowed to come inside on that right foot, curled for the far corner, and he wasn't too far away. Very, very close. Certainly as close as Charlton have come. Semenya. Brownhill. Good work from O'Dowder. Ball in from Rowe is blocked, but it'll be a throw to Bristol City. Certainly a big increase in the noise around the stadium because the more action in the opening seven minutes of the second half than there was in the majority of the first. Masengo. No doubt it. Williams. And there were Masengo again. So often at the heart of everything good that Bristol City do. The teenager, he's got it again here. Away by Lockyer. Away by Moore to Masengo once more. No doubt it. Is there a cross at the end of all this? Williams. Eliasson. Taking on Zolli. Wants it on his left foot, of course. That's a good looking cross. The header is over. Eliasson managing to get the better of the substitute, Chris Solly whipping the ball into the far post. And that was his last contribution. I don't think the fans are too happy with Eliasson coming on. On in his place. Here's Rodri. And Diju coming on as well for Bristol City and a double change. Lee Johnson making a decisive Double switch there, and Spanish forward Rodri coming on, made his debut at the weekend. Joined 
just uh, a week or so ago in a short-term deal. He's a free agent after leaving Granada. And uh, Tamara Diediu, Senegalese forward, scored the winner against Reading in the last home game. Both managers have now made two of their three permitted alterations. been shown to Prattley. Joining Kyle on a yellow. Chest off by Bond. That did well there, and this is Kaya. Leko. Sorry on the outside, and still Leko. Now Chris Solly. Waste no time getting the ball in, away by Williams. Cullen has got through to Kaya. And that needed tipping over by Daniel Bentley. Certainly an effort that he would expect to save, but hit that very sweetly, Derham Kyle. Third corner for Charlton. Oh, is that a free kick? Yes, it is. Now by Rodri. Allows Charlton to keep the pressure on. Rodrigo Lozano to give him his full name, but known as Rodri. You may you remember him when he had his spell at Sheffield Wednesday. Well, that was uh, seven seasons ago now. Time flies. Now 29. Now Kyle and Cullen over the ball, this is surely too far out to have a direct hit, so what can they conjure up here? Cullen finding Kayal, now let go. Blocked by Vyman. Oshijana with the throw, let go. Sengo can get this away. Bradley staying with him. No foul, went to ground too easily there, the referee feels. Bradley finding Oshijala, now Leko. Too close to the goalkeeper, who was under pressure from his own defender, manages to hold on. Byman, Had a lot more defending to do in the second half than attacking, that's for sure. Given away by Pereira. Helped on for Gallagher. Gallagher goes for goal himself. Well, possibly the wrong decision. And as uh, Jonathan Lecco completely free in the middle. Instead, he opted to try and beat Daniel Bentley at his near post. Never really had the ball under control. If he'd got his head up there, he could easily have rolled it into Lecco for a tap in. Josh Cullen with Charlton's fourth corner. Prattley will retrieve and put it straight back in. Vaughan was on the near post, he needed to leave that for Lockyer, who was just behind him. 
twice the spell for Charlton Athletic, but they haven't capitalised on it. Still anyone's game. Put in possession there, Misengo by Gallagher. Leko. Oh, and out comes Daniel Bentley decisively. Good goalkeeping. Sengo caught in possession again, and uh, the ricochet for Leko very nearly worked in his favour. Rodri finding Vyman. Rowe. That will be a corner to Bristol City. Gone, need Ashton Gate. It's been a while since the action was up this end. In by Josh Brownhill, headed away by Cullen. Asengo, and again, certainly tenacious. Brownhill, beautifully worked. Odalda comes back to Brownhill. Got a decent ball in there towards the ADU. No foul. Rodri didn't hold on to the ball, and suddenly Charlton could counter. It's a great run here from Bon. Leko in the middle. Solly Prattley right by Gallagher Roshijala looking for Conor Gallagher again he's got past Masengo brilliantly done and Bond can't finish it off because there's some brilliant defending in there oh that was superb from Conor Gallagher that's the sort of form that he's been in Charlton getting closer. Pierce. Cullen. Leko. Darren Prattley. Oshijala. Oh, the goalkeeper got a hand to it. Nervously hoiked behind. By Pereira for a corner. She Raja got the cross in here, and that was not convincing defending. Leads to a corner. Cullen takes a deep, deep corner. Bristol City could break as a result of it. It's a good run from Vyman. This is Masengo. And it's all the way through. Huge chance for Rodri. And then Vyman over. Deflected over. They can't believe they haven't scored there. Brilliant break from the corner. Masengo with the ball in all the way to the far post. Rodri with the cutback and Vyman, great save from Dylan Phillips. That is a stunning bit of goalkeeping. The corner is swung in, it's loose and hooked off the line. Straight back to Brownhill. Goalkeeper Phillips punches away. Rodri retrieves, now O'Dowder. Q forming in the middle, and it's hooked behind for another corner. And this is the best spell we've seen from Bristol City so far. Brownhill's corner. Oh, and saved again. Oh, and then Rodri can't finish it off. 
Phillips with another good save. And Rodri couldn't sort his feet out. Meanwhile, Prattley's been poleaxed by that cross. He stayed down holding his face. Charlton get on with the game with Kyle. Kyle is looking for Bon. Goalkeepers come. And Bon has finished it up. Charlton lead. A precision finish from McCauley Bon after Daniel Bentley came to meet him. He took it past the goalkeeper and slotted it home beautifully for his fourth goal of the season. And Charlton, after beating Derby 3-0 on Saturday, now lead here at Ashton Gate. Coolness personified with that finish, right in front of the Alex fans. Just seconds earlier, Darren Prattley had been floored by a Bristol City cross. His teammates just played on and ended up scoring. And it came, what, a minute after two big chances at the other end. That's a brilliant save to deny Taylor Moore, and then Rodri should have finished it off. Instead, Charlton went up the other end and took the lead themselves. How quickly things can change. Just as Bristol City were enjoying their best spell of the match. And they'd forced two cracking stops from Dylan Phillips. Charlton break. And McCauley Bond signed from Leighton Orient in June after Orient's promotion to League Two as champions of the National League. 23 goals in the league last season for Bond. Well, he netted early on on Saturday and he's on target again here just four days later. Byman. We've got a game on our hands now. Brownhill. Swatted away by Oshilaja. And that could be another chance for Charlton. It's McCauley Bon again who sees his shot saved. Again, hesitant defending from Bristol City. It's a totally different match now. Chances coming thick and fast. Free kick to Bristol City here. That's a foul by Jason Pierce. Isenga. O'Dowder. Falls kindly for the ADU. The shot's on here. Good save again from Phillips. That's three times now in quick succession he's been called upon. And his clean sheet remains intact. Really good effort this from Vyman. Now Masengo, the 18-year-old Frenchman, is going off. Coming on instead for Bristol City, Casey Palmer. It's their final change. the midway point of the second half it is all to play for here crowd singing Casey Palmer's name joined from Blackburn in January a couple of goals in the second half of last season scored against Middlesbrough at the end of August Referee talking to Williams and Pierce here. A couple of old troopers. That's some pushing and shoving. They've been there, seen it, done it. Here's the latest Bristol City corner. Brownhill with it. Oh, first contribution for Casey Palmer with the header. Again, Charlton scrambling away. 
now they look to break with Lecco. Oh, a heavy touch, really heavy. One of those times where the player has too much time. Nicely cleared by Bentley. Palmer could have scored with his first touch. He's been pulled back there by Gallagher. Twenty minutes to go. Fascinating second half, it really is. Palmer. Pereira. Williams. Palmer plays it forward. A lovely little flip there from O'Dowda. Diadio. Poor layoff. Crack me away. They're doing so much right, Bristol City, but haven't quite found the key to unlock Charlton. And a lot of the credit there has to go to the keeper, Dylan Phillips, who's made four really good saves now. No doubt it. Pereira. Vyman. Little flick from Palmer to Vyman again. And he's caught between having a shot and dinking it to the far post in the end. He's been a straight point. Now, Lee Bowyer making a final change. Baron Kyle going off here. Saniki coming on for Charlton. That's the last substitution of the night. Coming on for his tenth appearance of the season in all competitions, ninth in the league. <laughs> Lee Bowyer's voice up here uh, on the uh, gantry. Again, apologies if you do hear the odd word, which uh, is inappropriate. Lovely header from Bond, beautifully cushioned for Aniki. Can't return the compliment though, the man who's just come on. Poor clearance straight to Bradley! And he recovers well, Daniel Bentley. And he spared his own blushes there with that save and has kept Bristol City in the game. Pereira. Vyman. Out by Solly for a throw to Bristol City. Can they haul themselves level here? Remember, a win could see Charlton easily going top three, depending on the other results. Big win, potentially second. Brownhill. In. It'll be a Bristol City throw. Pereira with it. Brown Hill. Helped on, chance goal! It's Faber of the ADA off the bench to equalise for Bristol City. Oh, Charlton will be fuming it came from a throw in. Brown Hill dinked to the far post, it actually came off a Charlton player, Jason Pierce, and fell beautifully.
for Bamara, the ADM, to touch it home past Dylan Phillips, who's beaten at last. And the substitute gets his third league goal of the season. We're all square. And I'm sure Bristol City will feel that is the least that they deserve for all the chances they've created in this second half. That's given away by Solly. Vyman. Oh, it's spilled! And he's made the save. I think the flag was up anyway. Rodri wasn't to know. He should still have tucked that in. Excellent stop from Phillips. Oh, the contrast between the first half and the second half here could not be more marked. First half so cagey, devoid of openings. The second half has been wide open at times, so many opportunities. Angry push by Rodri on Pierce. Williams. 14 minutes left for one of these sides to find a winning goal. Blatant tug back there from Cullen. They've got books for that. Josh Brownhill to take the free kick, helped create the equaliser. Vyman. But they fashioned something from a wide area. So another dig there, the idiot. Brownhill. Ferreira. Lifted in again, and it comes off Pierce. Rodri whipped in by Pereira. Good header away by Oshilaja. It'll come again. This time Phillips punches only as far as Pedro Pereira. Great pressure from Bristol City. And that is a foul by the ADU on Lockyer. Just a little too aggressive that time. And the cheers are because, of course, this just breaks up that momentum that Bristol City were building up. There's no question that's a foul. Was a really good effort from Prattley and it was going right in the far corner before Daniel Bentley intervened Tensions running high now, 11 minutes left. The rain continuing to pour down here. Tantalizing prospect of a late winner for either of these sides. As things stand, Bristol City would be down to 10th, five points off top spot. 
Charlton would stay in seventh. If they can get a winner, Charlton, they would go up to third. Bristol City, if they got a win, would go up to fourth. Brownhill. Pereira. Vyman. Oh, it's a good ball by Andy Vyman. A little flick header away on the near post. Could have caused problems. Not much has got past Dylan Phillips tonight. Williams with the header. Pereira. Rodri. Just a throw. Well kept in by Pereira, that was not the best ball out wide. Williams again. Launched by Taylor Moore. Up and away by Deji Oshilaja. I believe there won't be further chances before the end, it's a question of whether anyone can take one. Palmer. Good strength from Casey Palmer. Gallagher came in. Possibility of a chance encounter. That's a curious back pass by Bond. Phillips deals with it. It's well shielded by Leco. This is Bond. Solly. Leco. And Cullen brought down by Pereira. In no nonsense fashion. Referee wants to talk to the Portuguese fullback and to show him a yellow card. He can really have too many complaints here. That was a bit of a lunge and just raised his boot at the end as well. Now, what a position this is for Charlton. front for less than 10 minutes could they restore their advantage here Cullen never troubling Bentley Well, from Maniki, but uh, referee plays on with Bristol City in possession. Palmer. The ADU tussling with Oshi Larger, but no foul. home game he's got the equalizer in this home game is there to be any further goal mouth action as Lebo looks on yellow card 
is waved in the direction of Phillips for time wasting. of pushing and shoving going on here involving a dozen players something out of nothing well the referee and his assistant will have to try and pick the bones out of that City level. Well, that's why a left boot and then a right boot into Jason Pierce while he was on the deck. And Bristol City's number nine is shown a straight red card. can have few complaints when you look at that replay an ugly incident well, Lee Johnson absolutely fuming that the decision didn't go his way there Three minutes to go plus stoppage time. What a battle this second half has been. Brown Hill. Vyman. O'Dowder. Palmer. Williams now. Oh, he's gone all the way back to Bentley. In quite a promising position there, Bristol City. Have to start from the back again. This is a situation where they now have to respect the point. Down to ten men. They're certainly looking to win it, having got themselves level again. Gallagher. Well, is that the end of the drama? Bon. Solly. Bon again. It's over Lecco. Rodri. Been pulled back there by Cullen. Free kick. They've already taken it. Brown Hill. Here goes Moore. They are certainly not done here, Bristol City, as we tick towards the 90th minute. That was arrowed in towards O'Dowda. Drilled by Vyman. And the shot goes out for a throw. Sides have played some good stuff here. 
Here's a look at the red card incident again. He doesn't just have one little kick, he has a second one. And that prompts all kinds of pushing and shoving. seen by Prattley he's lifted it up for Bond and the offside flag is up six minutes of stoppage time to be played even more than the first half this is far from done Corley Vaughan He's just trying to get that forward a little too early Williams with an easy header away to Casey Palmer He's been brought down by Gallagher Taken quickly Vyman Headed back by Vaughan To his goalkeeper Phillips been a lot of excitement in the second half numerous chances great saves two goals a red card all we need now is a winner both sides will end up feeling disappointed if it's uh, if it's a point each Charlton because they had the lead and chucked it away and then played against 10 men and Bristol City because they came back to equalize just couldn't force the winning goal by men still full of energy as always Williams Palmer Brown Hill, it's a decent ball forward, although it asked a lot of Rodri, he's battled his way into possession, Pereira. Palmer, blatantly pulled back by Aniki. Lee Johnson absolutely furious again. And it is a yellow card. sense this could be the moment Brown Hill Scudder up and away Aliniki for a throw to Bristol City Taylor Moore Palmer Moore with the whip ball in Comes off a Charlton head as far as Vyman, who wins a corner off Solly. Brown Hill takes it short. Better angle this time. Is absolutely levered by uh, Odalda. Not off 
and that they fly in from there. Well, six minutes of stoppage time was signaled. We played 94 and a half, so four and a half minutes of stoppage time. of heads and the Charlton player down is a Niki this will increase the amount of stoppage time of course that looked a uh, pretty painful collision Both players still down. Bristol City player backing into uh, Aniki. Both came off pretty badly, though. Aniki sitting up with an ice pack on the side of his head. Both players now back on their feet. That's taken 90 seconds or so out of the game. Brown Hill is OK to continue. We're not done. A yellow card there shown to Vyman. Presumably for his complaining, he's pretty upset about it. So, we're ticking into the eighth minute of stoppage time. Gallagher. Palmer has been dispossessed by Gallagher. He's got four around him. And certainly no suggestion of a penalty there. Cleared as far as Cullen. Palmer. Solly at his back. Headed down by Pierce. Palmer again. Palmer to slide that ball downfield towards Rodri. That's launched into the box. It's Brown Hill! Absolutely amazing! In the eighth stoppage time Josh Brownhill has won it for 10-man Bristol City an extraordinary conclusion to the game he took it beautifully launched by Casey Palmer to the far post a lovely touch with the outside of his right foot and his left foot did the rest. His second goal of the season. It's an absolute beauty. And it surely won all three points for Bristol City. Having been 1-0 down, the 10 men have surely nicked this one by two goals to one. A sickener for Charlton Athletic. They were looking at another away win and now suddenly are staring at a defeat. Palmer. He 
he's got it through to O'Dowda. Faced by Ashi Larger, but this will do. And there it is, a stunning victory for Bristol City. Look what it means to Lee Johnson and his coaching staff. 1-0 down here after a well-taken goal by McCauley Bond. But then off the bench, Famara Diadio equalised. He was then sent off before that dramatic conclusion. Deep, deep into stoppage time. A beautifully taken goal by the captain, Josh Brownhill, to nick all three points for Bristol City. And by my reckoning, that will take them up to third place in the Sky Bet Championship. A really dramatic second half. And what a win for Lee Johnson and Bristol City. It's finished at Ashton Gate. Bristol City 2, Charlton Athletic 1.